Hello, my name is Trey. Uh, I'll be uploading to the double E zone a problem dealing with the DC parallel circuit with N resistors. We say N resistors because N represents the number of parallel resistors we can have uh, before our four amp rated fuse pops. So let's get started with this problem. Uh, you can see we have a 12 volt DC source. We have a four amp fuse. It's rated, the fuse is rated for four amps. And we have in parallel 20 ohm resistors, but we're not sure how many we're going to have out here. We need to find out what's the maximum number that we can have. So the first thing we want to do is we want to look at total resistance for this circuit. What is the total resistance? We do that by remembering total resistance is going to be total voltage over total current. In this case, that's equal to 12 volts over 4 amps or 3 ohms. So that's one piece of the puzzle, 3 ohms for the total resistance. Now let's look at these parallel resistors and see what it is we need to do with that. To understand what it means to have in 20 ohm resistors in parallel we just need to look at what it means to have two in parallel, what it means to have three in parallel and we'll see a pattern emerge mathematically. So if I look at a 20 ohm resistor in parallel with another 20 ohm resistor, I know that this mathematically is 20 times 20 over 20 plus 20. I can pull 20 out, top and bottom, leave behind 20 and 1 plus 1, or 20 over 2. And this is something we should already know about parallel circuits. If I have two resistors in parallel with the same resistance, uh, then their total resistance is just half. So in this case, it works out exactly as we would expect, right? It would be uh, 10 ohms. Now let's look at three 20 ohm resistors in parallel with each other. If I say 20 in parallel with 20 in parallel with 20, what's that going to be? Well, we have 20 in parallel with 20, which is given up here as 20 divided by 2 or 10. So this is equal to 10. Sorry, I'm still learning the software. In parallel with 20. Well, we know what this is. We've, sol we've solved things like this uh, before. Uh, when two resistors are in parallel, uh, we know that we can multiply them on top. 10 times 20 over 10 plus 20. Now we can go ahead and pull the 10 out, top and bottom. That leaves behind uh, 20 and 1 plus 2 or 20 over 3. If we carry this thing out n times, we're going to have 20 in parallel with 20 n times being equal to 20 over n. So if I have n resistors in parallel, they all have the same resistance, that's just the, the resistance, uh, the total resistance is just take one of the resistors, divide by n, the number of those resistors that you have. So we're going to use that information to re uh, draw the circuit. Here you can see that uh, the circuit has been redrawn. I've replaced the 20 ohm parallel resistors, n of them, with 20 over n uh, ohms. Um, now this is going to make this problem much easier to solve, right? n is the number of resistors that we can have on parallel on this circuit without blowing that 4 amp fuse. From the previous slides, 
we know that the total resistance is 3 ohms. That's 12 volts divided by 4 amps. We know that this resistance is also 20 over N. So this means that 3 is 20 over N or that N is equal to 20 over 3 which is equal to 6.66 repeating and there we go what's this telling us this is telling us that if I have the number of resistors is 6.666666 that uh, this circuit will operate right out the 4 amp barrier but it, we can't have a part of a resistor so what we're going to do is back off a little bit and say that N is 6 so if we have six 20 ohm resistors in parallel will just be just a little bit below the maximum capacity of this 4 amp fuse. So that's it for this problem. Uh, if you have any questions or comments put them below um, and uh, I'm hoping uh, to get another video out here oh probably in the next day or two. I've got about a hundred of them to do. So thanks a lot. Have a nice day.